myself Take me right back to the start Good afternoon, MML. It's Ben Booth one here again, and here we go with another Road to the Playoffs um, review, precap, or recap, whatever you want to call it. And um, I've got the lovable Scotsman himself, Dio, with me. Um, afternoon, Dio. Afternoon, guys. So it's we're going to... afternoon yet, but we'll get Is it not? Oh, do. What time is <laughs> it? Let's minutes. Let me... 10 minutes, oh, I tell you, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> 10 to 12 here. Um, but yeah, we're back for another We're back for another show. And um, I, this is the one when I did the pre-caps at the beginning of the season. It was one I was really excited about in the challenge. Um, I, it's always fun for me to try and remember who I picked. But I do sort of remember that I thought Bill Cowapara would probably win the league. Widowmakers maybe second, Roy third, something like that. I expected this to be dominated by them three with maybe Jim's Colton Odin's giving him a bit of problem. But when we have actually a look at the leaderboard, the first thing to say is forget who's first. Cardell Devil's record is not 5 0 0. He took over from um, Jim's Undead, what was 3 0 0 at when he took over. Hawker's Cardell Devils are actually played 2 1 2. So they're on six points. Um, Revanger up there, Bill Cowpower up there, and Weeping Widowmakers up there. But Weeping Widowmakers have played an extra game um and to be honest um i think the widowmakers have got a big problem actually making it what does surprise me because at the beginning of the season i thought worst case scenario they probably finish second uh Reich's done well with Ranger the dwarfs they're actually top of the table with 11 points and looking at their running um so have a look, right? Revang's got it pretty tough. They've got to play Hawker next, and his card out Devils, who since have been back, played two one two, and then he's got to play the Weeping Widowmaker. So it's probably good that he already has eleven points on the board. Um, Bill Cow Power Hour plays the fun size punches this week. That's uh, the chaff, so that should be fun. And then he plays, ironically, Hawker as well in the last week. So if he's got to go into the last week needing a win, ooh, he, that's going to be quite tough. Uh, and obviously the, Weep, the uh, Weeping Widowmakers, unfortunately they lost to the Cardell Devils, but then they beat the Kilmanati, but they've got Revang last week, so that's not easy for them. And finally, the Cardell Devils, who could be, who's only played two games, could still make the playoffs. They've got to win all their three. They've beat uh, Weeping Widowmakers, they've now got to beat Revang, and then they match up finally with Bill Cowapara. So that is probably the hardest he could have done. Um, ironically, though, um, teams like... Um, Dash and Bash and Vermin, Vermin. Well, I can't pronounce that. How do you fucking pronounce Vermin Silitude? There you go. <laughs> um, the, the, the sort of teams I thought might do all right, but maybe not make the playoffs. They've actually got the better run-ins because the Rats have got um, what they've got. They've got Dash and Bash, and then they've got the Kilmanati, um, who've obviously only drawn once and lost five all season, so you'd fancy them there. And Dash and Bash have got them and then Fun Size Punchers. So both them teams, I think, I mean, no disrespect to the rest of the the, the, co the coaches, I've got the easy run-ins. Um, I think the big names, like the Roigs, the Moor Shots, the Thundons, the Hawkers, they've all got to play each other. So to me, I think the likes of the Asher, Bot Bot, Big Lanky, because of their running, have got a great chance. And if the punchers can somehow um, build on their draw against Rivang and maybe get a draw or win <laughs> against Bill Cow Power, what will be really hard, that would give them a great chance. Also, as well, uh, there is a wildcard spot for two of these three divisions. Um, and again, it's a very good chance the wildcard come from this division as well. Anyway, Dio, is there any surprise who's up there? Um, and who do you fancy out of this mob to to make the make the the playoffs? Well, I can never really discount shots, especially not with the team that he's most comfortable with. Yeah. Um, the fact that Vang have managed to keep the dwarves alive with so much claw teams in this division. Yeah. Ir ironically, um, I think the wolf of the Kilmanati killed both his troll slayers. I think that that that's really been the only time he's really lost stuff. Um, what well, was a big blow, but it's not stopped him. He, he keeps either winning or or, or drawing, and he he did a two ten oh, touchdown. Mm. Both of them, Dad. 
Um, and he and he uh, he was two one down against the Funside Punchers, but did a two two ten touchdown to make it two two. So you know, Roik's playing really good at the moment. And um, but my, my concern with Roik is that he's got the points in the bank, but he's got two really tough games. But I'm sure he will fancy his chances against. You know what what he's got to play against. He's got Hawkwast, obviously Dark Elves, and he's got the Weeping Widowmakers who've ha- have lost Smashing Pumpkins, so they only have one claw, and that's got no mighty blow. So I think Roykel, you think with it, with eleven points, he's probably if he's not going to get in the top two, he's probably going to get a wild card. You'd think at West, but um, you know it, it it's interesting because I I honestly thought the the more shots the Thunder and Roik, these three would have been clear. And it's not worked like that. Everybody's been beating everybody. So it's been great. You know, you, nobody knows who's going to win who. Um, but who do, do who do you think will get the top two? Do you fancy your boy Roy with the Dwarf Nation getting it done? I can never discount Roy. Uh, it's a great coach. His team's terrifying. Um, yeah, I'd probably go with Roy and Shots. Hawker mm. might be able to steal the... Um, wild card spot. Yeah, um, I, I think the game for Bill Cow Power is massive this week. Um, I think he'll be expected to win that game, uh, but if he doesn't, I would not want to be playing the Cardell Devils last week, knowing that you need to win to make the playoffs. Because Hawker is very good of not losing. He might not win all the time, but he very rarely loses. So you know, I think more shots has got to be as ruthless. And, and get the win against the punchers. If he does, then I think he'll make the playoffs, no problem. But again, the way this the way this division has been, where everyone's been beating everybody, you know, um, it, it's not a given, is it? And obviously, if, if the Maple Leaf Claw comes off for uh, the Chaffs, then who knows? And he will get a quite a bit of inducements as well. So it'd be interesting to see what he what he takes there. Um, let, let's have a look at the teams there. Let's have a look at Bill Cow Power Hour at the moment. Uh, dear, what do you think? I mean, they've, they've only got eight players, but what they do have is a lot of quality. He's got 210k in the bank. That might be for a transfer, I'd imagine. Um, but what do you think of this team? It's as terrifying as I remember it. It's built to deal with pretty much anything. They've obviously been through the wars to lose a few players. Yeah. But with that 210k in the bank um, he'll be looking to get in another nice beastman to complement everything mm-hmm. shots he doesn't restrict himself to just bash teams so he'll know exactly what he needs for his play style yeah yeah they can it's... handle the ball they can handle the bash coaches they might struggle a little against elves We've mm. only got two tackle, like three tackle even. Yeah. Um. They're a little lacking in guard for such a high TV chaos team. Yeah, that's that's the only weakness I see when when I look at this team is the TV. I mean, the, we must stress they are carrying sixty k block, but they they've got to add another hundred and eighty k, um, on learners as well. So at the moment that puts them almost at two thousand. Um, I, I like number five combustible lemon, especially when he gets tack, tackle next. He's an agility four leaper, so he can leap into a cage and get a two die on just about anything, unless there's guard assists in will there he get for the cage. Tackle or will he get very long legs? Oh, you got to go tackle. You still you're still leaping on a three plus. Because um, don't forget, a lot of times the the, the ball carrier is going to be bludger. So you know, it's like if you do get into the, get into there, you've got to have the best chance possible to to get the the ball carried down. I, if he goes long legs, yeah, it, it does make it a two plus. But then most times you're going to be relying on a pow. So you know, it's what one in six to get the ball carried down. It's not great odds, but at least with tackle, it's it's got a lot better. Uh, but like I say, we'll see how how he does with that. Um, but I like that player. That's a player I've been looking roughly to get in. Uh, but I've got the Jilly, I've got Wrestle Leap, so I'd probably have to go long legs to get a three plus. Um, but that's a nice piece. Obviously, Irish Car Bomb, you know, he's he's the rock star, isn't he? Um, Ram Chancellor, I do believe that's his favourite player, um, and I think he has a niggle, so and he's one point off getting Legend State, so hopefully he'll get that this week. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, the thing I like about this team is I, I remember a lot of these players, you know, from back in the day, and that obviously is, a, is great to see. Um, so most of his big names have been kept alive. Um, and like I say, nobody will want to play them in the playoffs. And I really do expect these to um, get to pros. I would love to see these run up against Momo's Necro. <laughs> I think that would be a maybe a fitting final, probably, but that would be fun. I would love to see how more shots was ha would go about handling that wolf. I think that would be an amazing matchup. Um, so I hope that happens. Um, not just to just kill stuff, but I just would love to see how some like more shots would handle such a beast. But um, he's like I say, he's got two agility four pieces. He's got enough firepower. He's got three might blow claw. Uh, one of them's obviously pile on in in, um, in carbon. Um, and the other thing I see wrong with this team, and it's not really wrong because it's chaos, is obviously the TV value. It's 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 quite high, but again, it's chaos. Chaos are high TV, um, and like I say, I, I'll be gobsmacked if he doesn't make the playoffs. I really will. The, this was my tip to win the league, and I think they'll be there or thereabouts, and they should make the playoffs. Now, a team what obviously has been doing amazingly well. It's good old Reiki. Um, and he's not been beaten this season. Not been beaten at all. Um, he had a bad game where he lost both his troll slayers. But hey, you can't keep a good man down in his back. Um, you're obviously dwarf coach, so tell me what you think of this team. I love it. I'm jealous of it. <laughs> Especially Jelly. Yeah, I love Jelly. Um, I think because he's had the team sitting in the trophy case for a wee while. He's low. I know for a fact he's lost some of the players because I've taken a couple off of him. Yeah. Um, Shelley as well. He's going to be hard to take down. He's hard hitting, and if he gets the ball in an emergency, he can launch it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's another pair that would be quite good against Monmo's Wolf Jelly, both strength five. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. Um, and Royke's got all the guard to assist Jelly as well. Yeah, so. yeah. It's a nice team, isn't it? it it's Royke's just been real. I've been really impressed the way he's played this season, and even like when he was two one down with two turns to go, he still had the presence in mind, and you know to get that draw. Um, no surprises up there. He's a good coach, and again, two and thirty k in the banks. So obviously, he's carrying blood. But I, I suppose I presume in the MML because of the transfers where they work, a lot of people will be carrying blood this time of the season. So there's, there's yeah, generally so... it's quite cash blood at the end of the season, um, running up to the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, so it probably won't hurt as these playoff teams as much because they'll all be trying to save what they, I guess. Um, and especially since he's sitting with 10 players at the moment, so he'll be yeah. 1940 in his next game with that loner coming in. What What do you think he's going to buy? What do you think this team needs? Do you think he'll go for another Troll Slayer? Or? Um, yeah, he's missing one Troll Slayer, so it's more than likely going to be a, a very nice Troll Slayer at that cost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Take and we could get in an extra long beard so you get more guard on the team. Hmm. Um, hmm. But that comes reasonably easily anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 well, a real nice team. A nice control um, slayer helps you control the sidelines of the pitch. Yeah. They force the opponents to really consider is a sideline cage their safest option. Yeah. I mean, he's got two nice blitzes as well. They're both very nice. Both might blow a tackle. Um, one's got stand firm as well. What's nice strip ball as well? So it's a really nice team. Obviously, he's got some nice strength ups on his long beards as well. It's a nicely put together team. Obviously, the troll slays is the weakness at the moment. But what can you do when both die on you? You've got to rebuild them. Um, so it's all good. And you know we don't need to win. We want blood. So that always scares me. <laughs> it's like okay, he's got to try and destroy me. And it's a great team. But he does try and win as well. I think that's just to scare the rest of us. Um, and I hope I hope he does well because we we need Rivang in in the pros because he he's he's a great guy he's a he's a great team and I I suppose for me I, I love all these old teams and uh, there was a rumor that Dwarf Giant is bringing back his um, his pumpkins his orc team yeah um, he's wanting to get back to 
a little bit of bashing and his poor dark elves are yeah it's been very much through it. the wars but again that's um, uh, that was one of my favorite teams across them and i think they've got quite a few niggles as well yeah yeah which probably won't help him in his last game of the season yeah i i i so i hope he does bring back because it was one of my when i was back in the ml in the, in the days they were one of my favorite teams so i was really happy if they come back and obviously obviously dwarf giants are a great guy as well so yeah revenge dwarfs i think they'll do really well now then weeping widowmaker has been a bit of a roller coaster route uh smashing pumpkin is dead he was their mighty blow claw uh uh frenzy piece and obviously thunder predicted this he predicted just before the game he said Smashing Pumpkin will die this game, and he did. So very scary uh, premonition there. Um, the rest of his team is good. Uh, his Pesticles are amazing. They're all very nice. I would think um, either Triple H, Triple HPV, or Sabbath will get um, Claw because the, the one thing this team is lacking is guard and Claw and tackle. <laughs> so. You know that he's got to read. In my opinion, that's what he's got to readdress. They're, they're the three issues he's got. Um, but when he's playing against teams like Dwarfs and that, if you don't have the punch, you're in trouble. Same with Orcs. Um, but yeah, I, I'm surprised where he is. Um, I, I, I had him a bit higher up, but he's had one of those seasons where when things can go wrong, they have gone wrong. But he's still one of the best the MML have to offer coach wise. Um, but I, I, I just think he lacks the punch. That, uh, that's just my opinion. What do you think, yeah. do you? If Sabbath gets Claw, that's an amazing piece. Yeah. Um, you can't just tie him up. The horns blitz on a strength four. Yeah. Agility he would be a nightmare. Four. Blodge, tackle. And I can't think of anything that I would put on that's not Claw. Yeah. Yeah, and the great thing is, and I think uh, I think Thunder realised after he'd had Smash Pumpkin with our Frenzy, because the Frenzy, it's a double-edged sword, and the problem with Frenzy is, you know, a savvy coach will say, right, okay, you want to hit, that's fine, but guess what, you're going to Frenzy yourself into my wrestling play, so then you're going to have to dodge your way. I do believe he was only Jilly 3 as well, so that was really dicey. Um, but someone like Sabbath, to me, is perfect, because you've got the Jilly 4 as well, so even if you get a buff down, it's a 2 plus to dodge your way, and if that guy got tackled, he got dodge as well, so it's a 2 plus with a reroll. Um, to me, that gets claw every day of the week. I'm not even like you. I'm not even thinking. The only way that would be any sort of awkward way of looking at skills is if I rolled a double six, or you know, I'd even, I'd even, to be honest, I'd even throw away agility because he's already good with I mean, agility four. With the dodge, there could be an argument for putting strip ball on him and putting the claw into triple HPVs instead. Yeah. I suppose it depends. I just think Sabbath looks the play to get Claw. He's already built for that role as a sweeper, where I think Triple HPV needs a few more skill levels to to be as effective. I would be if I was playing this team, I'd be more worried if Sabbath had the Claw than HPV. Yeah, the dodge, the agility four, and the tackle. You know, um, but I, I I think this team I I and. and uh, Thunder said this is more of a uh, rebuild now because obviously he's lost he's, he's lost Smashing Pumpkin he's now got to decide how he's got to he's probably going to look at him and say right okay this is the season I've had what did I like what didn't I like where do I think my weaknesses are what do I need to improve what do I need to bring in do I bring in a warrior do I bring in a pestigo uh, he's got all those questions obviously he'll, he'll, he'll obviously talk to the four horsemen and we'll have a think tank and we'll all give him his best information and advice we can but at the end of the day it's his call um He's got three guards That's now. The thing with Thunder as well is he's gone from the bash to trying out the agility side of things for a wee while. Yeah. And now he's relearning bash, but with his extra knowledge of the agility. So yeah, yeah. His team it's... will get stronger, but he just needs to remember that you can't just not hit. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think you know a couple of claw pieces on here would do well. I mean, Skunk and Nancy. I mean, he he wanted claw on that. I I did ask him about that, and he just said, "Look, I wanted claw on it." Uh, usually, he'd go mighty blow then claw, but 
he wanted Claw. Maybe he, he was playing against a lot of high AB teams, so he thought Claw would at least break the armor and maybe stun them. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, you, you know, if, the way I look at it, if Sabbath say, I don't know, he got Claw, you know, Skunk gets Mighty Blow, he's only seven points off, you bring another PC in, he might bring a Claw PC, and then all of a sudden he's got three Claw pieces, he's got the punch, and he's also got the skilled players, the Pesticles. And then all of a sudden, I'm thinking, yeah, great coach, great team, should make the pros. Then you're thinking, like with Momo on the other recap, I'm thinking, you know what, this would be then a team what you could see winning the championship, the pro championship. Um, so to me, it's like, it's just one of those seasons. It just needs a few tweaks, and then this will be a force to wreck with that. I have no doubt about it. That's it. Even if you do get through his Warriors to hit his ball carrier, and remove it. Yeah, it's still got two pest guards that can exactly. easily take up that role. Yeah, and that's that's why I like rank as well because like even in the last game, not the last game, the game I saw him against the Dark Elves with Hawker. Um, Hawker had this really good defense, and against any normal Nagel, there's no chance that uh, the Nagel was going to score. But because he had, he was movement eight, he, he he you know he could be just inside um, Hawker's half and still have potential to score. So it's great to have that sort of piece and then two agility pieces as well. Um, so he's got... Two heads, he's dodging oh. like an agility forward yeah. as well. So It's a really great build. And I think, you know, without cursing him, I think he's a savvy coach. He'll probably think, you know what? I know what I need to bring in. I know what I need to do to make sure next season, you know, there's no mistakes. I do well. I get to the playoffs. Maybe win the challenge as well, get to the pros, and then start causing carnage in there. Because obviously, ability wise, there's no issue. It's just this team, like with all Chaos and Nagel, they still have like little spots they need to improve. And having that extra guard on Faith No More really helps. I just think now this is lack, this just lacks that cutting edge what Claw would give it. As soon as it gets to that, and maybe a bench, um, I think they'll, uh, they'll be very, very deadly in DD. Um, cool for Nodlins we don't see because they're now in the pros. Um, the Cardell Devils then, so Hawker's got back in. He's going for the Mission Impossible. So he's got five games. Uh, did he have five games or was it four games to play? Four games. Four games. So he's got to win all four games to have a chance to make it. And I think he can, but it's going to take some doing. So he won his first game. He's then going to be uh, the Widowmakers. So, so far so good. So he's on six points, so that's good. But now he's got to go against Rivang. And then Bill Cower Power Hour. So if he, if he makes the playoffs, he will have bloody well deserved it. I think that's fair to say. Um, to me, when I look at this team, um, I look at the Witch Elves. You know, the Movement Nine Witch Elf and then the Strength 4 Agility 5 Witch Elf. They have real nice pieces. I do like number three as well, the Master. I like him, Mighty Blow Tackle. I think he's a good piece. Um, strength Lyman, not bad. Bit bloated at the moment, but I'm showing he's got blocker, block and dodge and stuff. He'll be a lot better. And obviously, Alan Jones. Now, Alan Jones was he the one who, who sung that "We're Walking in"? Is it? What is it? What is it? Walking no, in the he's air. From what? the Dark Tower, he's one of Roland's cacket. I sold Hawker that piece. What? What? <laughs> what do they call that? The snowman who flies. We're walking in the air or whatever. Oh. Um... I thought he was called Alan Jones or something like that. Because that's Alain. Oh, well, there you go then. I'll double wild then. But you know what I mean, don't you? The uh, snowman, the little snowman, but they should bring on on Christmas. We're walking in the air, blah, 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 and all that stuff. That's what I thought it was. But obviously, if you put it from you, then you'll know more than I will. Um, <laughs> the Dark Tower. Uh, didn't they make a movie of that with Edris Elba in it? Yeah, oh, they did. Ah, there you go. So um, that's sort of... A lot of people hated it, but I actually quite enjoyed it. I it haven't seen it. Quite a I lot must from admit. I haven't seen it, but I know who's in it. Matthew McGonaghy and obviously Eldris. Um, what do you think of this team then? I mean, I, I know obviously you're a dwarf team and you want to crush all elves, but what do you think of this team? I like it. It's. I can't really think of anything that is lacking apart from guard, but then again, that's a double for elves, so. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the mighty blow in the right places. None of the players are really lacking in what they're meant to do. We've got agility five, so the ball cannot be on the ground at any point. You've yeah. got that movement nine, so 
he's outrunning anything that's not scaven really yeah yeah absolutely um the only, the only thing is is his tb is quite high um it's 1870 but then you've got to add another 70 on that because obviously he's got a learner so you know that that but makes him 1940 do you strip out for that tv like Oh, I don't think you can. I don't think you can. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, you know, um, you know, that's the problem with elves, and that's what always puts me off with elves. If I if I want to play elves, is like I look at the team and think, oh, that's a good team, and I look at the TV value, I'm like, oh my god, that's really eye watering. And you know, I mean, I should be used to it, play like Nagel and stuff like that. But with elves, for some reason, they always think, is that all I get for for 1940? And then, uh, and then proper elf coach say, "Yep, yeah, Ben, he's got a mighty blow strength and agility of witch, and he's got this, and he's got this. What's wrong with you, man?" Um, I remember when he played against the Widowmakers. All this sad stepping blodge was causing headaches for Thunder and the Widowmakers. Um, I, I think he's got a good chance. I know he's against two really good coaches, but if anyone can do it, Hawker can do it. Um, but obviously, it will be a tall order for him. But best of luck for him. Now. Here's a little team, Fun South Punchers. They're against Morshot's team uh, this week, and it's a bit unfortunate because he's got two Chaos Dwarfs out, um, Timmy Twix and Kineth. On the plus side, though, his two claw pieces are still alive, and so is Oreos, the uh, Mighty Blow Guard stamp end piece. He's the guy who likes to have not one, but two bull center ball carriers. Um, one too many, in my opinion. Um, but he will get... He will get. I reckon that's probably Rapid got his sure hands, and then Clifford rolled the agility plus. Possibly, I do. Every time I watch, and I've watched a few of these games. Every time Clifford Closeland scores or does something, I always laugh. Just the name of the the uh, the, the piece. I don't know why. Just Closeland makes me think of wrestling and makes me chuckle evilly. Um, he's gonna have a tough game against Chaos. He's gonna be smart. He's gonna get inducements though, so wizards, chefs, players. I always find or uh, yeah, it could. Or... I I played in Rebel. I think I'm about to say that because it's a PC league, and I played the top of the table elf team. He was ridiculous. He had like strength, fire, frenzy, catches, might blow, piling on killers and all this stuff. And my chaffs was a bit like this. I had no players. And I, I had inducements, and I, I actually um, went for the mech, DP, um, hobgoblin route. And I was just like, anything on the floor, I'm going to foul. Um, you know, and then for his pile on piece, and I was like, well, you want to pile on? I'm going to stamp on you. If your killers come into my backfield, I'm going to stamp on you. And it really messed him up. And I think Blood Bowl's a lot of mind games sort of thing. Maybe that's a route he'll go down. Maybe he thinks... Two bull centers is just not enough for carrying the ball. I'm going to go and get a thack to make it three. How cool would that look? Um, it could go for that black hooth with strength... Is it seven on the blitz? Um, um, I think so, yeah. Because he's strength six and he's got might blow. He's got plenty of plenty of ways he can go. He's got DP as well. He could go bribe instead and just have the one DP. He's got a kicker. So he does have enough tools. I mean, he could even go what I've done before as well because I never have six... Uh, chop blockers for 150k you can get a guard chop mech as well so you know I, I do fancy more shots against him but the same things he can do with his inducements to, to make it tough on uh, more shots and I think whoever wins between these two will make the playoffs so there's a lot riding it's on this it's a that he's missing two of his guard as well but but you, for for three hundred, like for, for three hundred, yeah, for three hundred k, that's quite a bit. I know he can replace them and still maybe be able to get a wizard or a brab or whatever. Because uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, how many players you got now? So add eighty on that. So he's on fifteen seventy, and what's more shots on? So he's having to add more what shots. another? He's nineteen eighty. Adding on four hundred k. So it's doable. It's doable. And I can't wait to see how good these uh, bull centaurs are because they're going to have to have a, a good game. Uh, but either way, I think he's had a good season in a tough division. And it's still got the chance of making the playoffs because, you know, he's on seven points. Even a draw against more shots would give them a, a, a solid chance. And he's got a great chance in the last game because he's playing Dash and Bash, where Bill Cow Power Hour, they play Carnell Devils. So. To me, if I'm Asher and I'm really safe to want to make the playoffs and make the pros, 
I'd be like, right, I've got to not lose this game. If I can get through a, a, a game against a legend that is a, an ex-champion team as well, then I, I fancy myself to get it done against Dash and Bash in the final week. So I I think this is a really exciting um, division because loads of people have got a chance in this. Um, now, here's a team what did shock um, the Bill Cower Power Hour in an amazing game, 3-2. Um, the Rats were 2-0 up. It seemed like they blew it big time and Bill Cower Power Hour, amazing as most shots is, he found a way to get it back to 2-2. Two, two. Um, and then I think he had a shot on the ball, but I think he rolled double one on the GFI and that cost him any chance of you know basically getting it done and and the rats got it done and, uh, and they won um and um yeah they, they've done really really well they've, they've got themselves into a position now where they could even make the playoffs there isn't many players though is the deal i mean I, I i don't really know what to say about this team there isn't really team is they no it's a bit of a shame as well because the storm vermins niggled yeah um, a starting player, you expect them to be hit for fouling. Mm. He's going to basically be relying on the adjustments. Yeah. There's. In, as, Hertz is a nice gutter, but he's not got anything to really back him up or protect him. Yeah. I mean, I, su um, I suppose the good thing about Rats is... The first on Cold Hard is quite surprising. Yeah, I'd have gone Wrestle first um, on that. And then Dauntless. I would have gone Wrestle Tackle before Dauntless. Hmm? That would be a fair point as well. That would be a fair point. I mean, the only good thing I can say about this is that um, Rats are extremely good with low TV because, you know, he can hire himself under the gut runner. He can get himself a wizard. If that ball goes loose, these gut runners still know how to pick the ball up and and score and the key for me here and again I don't mean any disrespect I'm just going by who's playing who in the last two weeks he's got a really good run because he's playing dash and bash next that is a winnable game and then he plays the Kilmanati who are bottom and I do believe the Weeping Widowmakers killed one of their whites uh, this week so if I'm if I'm them and I'm thinking great Kimmy I've got a great chance to finish the season on 12 points and if you finish the season on 12 points he's got a very good chance of either making the top two or making that wildcard spot so the to me Bot Bot has yeah his team's battered but I think he's got a really really good chance to make the playoffs what people might think stupid because of what he's got but I think he's got well, a chance it's rats, <laughs> mm. it's rats. Um, and even done. that how would you pronounce that the bottom venator even he's got a good chance of scoring at any point if yeah, he scores no. at all in his next two games then yeah. he's got another leveled up gutter yeah 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 I, I, I think Bot Bot's got a great chance I mean he's a huge win of a, of a more shots is chaos and that's put him right in the picture and I, I, I think you know I'm not saying he'll win them both but looking at the schedules he's got a really good chance of winning the next two and if he finishes the season on 12 points then he's going to have to be really unlucky not to make the players via the normal route of either wild card so good luck to Bot all right, back, dash and bash, big lanky. Well, this is a this is a good old dark help team. I'm still surprised because I thought he was going to come in with lizards. He went in with um, dark elves, and they have done all right. Two wins, three losses. One of those wins was against um, the weeping widowmakers. Um, what was a huge win there, and he just beat Kilmanati uh, last week as well. So he again has got him put himself. Um, with a chance of making the playoffs because he now plays obviously the Rats who we've just discussed um, and then he plays the fun size punches what well, could be a tough game but obviously his speed may, he might be able to manipulate and get himself a win anyway um, what do you think of this Stark Elf team I don't think it's as good as obviously um, Hawkers but Hawkers is a lot high TV than this one but what do you think for 1480 Hawkers is a pro team that couldn't yeah. compete at the start of the season because he was yeah. away on holiday Mm -hmm. Dash and Bash, they're a developing team. I don't see any gaps in them. Um, I would have done it differently, but I like that he's got the guard blitzer as well. Yeah, that's going to cause coaches many problems as it develops. Um, yeah. I'd probably taken the mighty blow since it's the first double on a blitzer, but yeah, yeah, there's no problems with this team. It's very 
nicely developed and the kick and guard means that you're going to have kick and then you fire the guard into place yeah. as soon as the turn starts yeah I, I, that witch elf's nice a jilly fire bludge witch elf I like that and, he, and like he's, you said he's got some good guard there as well cash, he's spent a lot of money replacing players this season Yeah. whether he he might be one of those coaches that doesn't like the AB7 pieces hence only the one witch and no runner yeah. mm -hmm. it might just be that they've died and he's not had a chance to replace them yet yeah yeah um, and that witch elf is only one point off a level isn't he so a throw and uh, he'll, he'll be leveled up and be interested to see what he picks next um, I'd, I'd be I'd be I know people call me for this but I wouldn't be too bad maybe we leap just for offensive wise so a bit, five, yeah. you know so leap, you can just leap over like a column tackle on it first and then leap yeah I just think without witch elf because they'd be seven I'd be scared to get it engaged I'd Using nah, the ball carrier. That's what they're for. Yeah, no, but I, <laughs> are you talking to me? Who's like, hey man, I, I'm a, I'm a Nurgle coach or I'm a dwarf coach. I'm elves. Yeah, I know, you know. Yeah, I'm a dwarf coach. I'll still throw anything in. <sighs> yeah, maybe, maybe that's how I should feel. Maybe I should be like, hey man, let's bash. But I'm just thinking that's too much of a nice piece for it to be getting involved in stuff. Um, I think if if I was going to do what you was going to do, I would have gone wrestle and gone that route and maybe gone leap next or tackle then leap and. But then, oh, I don't know. But it's a nice piece. I think we can both agree with that. Um, he's got some pieces as well, what are close to a level up as well. There's quite a few in there. Maybe try and score with Tabith as well. Get get yourself another bludger. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, he, he's, he's, he's hanging in there. He's another one on six points. And obviously, if he wins both his games, he's on 12 as well. So um, this week's a huge one. Loses this week or draws this week, it's over for him. So... Um, I'm hoping either Vermin or Dash and Bash one of them wins because it makes it more exciting. More teams what have got a chance of making the playoffs, the more exciting obviously the league is. Uh, but yeah, it's a nicely built team. He won't be obviously get a, a, he won't have enough money to get a, um, a transfer, but you know his team's good enough to be able to go without one. Um, finally, then the Kilmanati, who's had an absolute nightmare time. They came in with very little. Um, I do believe they lost the, the the white this week, and he's bought another one in. Um, this team was very basic. Defiance is that he's very, very new to the game as well. He's right. played, I think, 30 to 40 games total. Yeah. And coming into this division against all these big players, these yeah. teams, and these coaches. Yeah. It's tough. It's very a tough. Tough way to develop. I yeah. like that he's put block onto the golems. Yep. Um, which is different to the other Necro team that we looked at earlier. Momos, yeah. They've mm -hmm. got Mighty Blow. Yep. Um, he's got Kick, he's got the Dirty Player. Just a very nicely starting team. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's... Hopefully it gets some. He's got, what, one, two, three, four, five guys that are an MVP away from leveling. Yeah. So it's one in two chance basically that he's going to get guys leveling up after the next game. Yeah, I mean that's it. It it it, it, it his team wasn't really ready to to play in 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 the uh, in any division, and then to be thrown into this division, man, that is, that is tough. Um, but you know, one good thing about it when you play all these good coaches, it helps you learn pretty quick because you you can see what how they're playing and the reasons why they're a good coach. And then pinch what they do and learn the way they do, or, 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 or take a little snippet and, and mold into the way you want to play. Um, so you know, all I can say to him is, is next season I'm sure it won't be as tough as this season if he keeps with these. Um, but it's, it's just it's just got to learn to be a bit more smarter. Um, I, I didn't see much of this game like yesterday, but I think if I'm right, he went with his his wolf and blitzed a, a, a Nagel warrior with the ball. And obviously he turned it over and, and that's how the Widow Men took the ball and, and, and scored. You know, and, and and you shouldn't be doing that with your wolf. You know, if he's got the ball he shouldn't be blitzing and like maybe a one die or whatever it was against an Eggle Warrior. Um and that cost him the game. So it's just trying to iron out them little mistakes and just being a bit more smarter when you've got when you got a guy with the ball. Um I mean we've all that's done nice. it. 
learning, especially when you're used to the game. Yeah, and I'm hoping and... things like that will will say to him, he'll learn from that. Go, you know what? I had a chance of getting a good good result against London, but I basically, you know, shouldn't really have gone trying to hit him with my ball carrier because at the time before it looked this division is very much trial by fire yeah so it's just you know it's a shame and and that and that's the difference between the top players and the players we're learning the top players don't make many mistakes and if 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 the new players do make mistakes the good players will just jump on it and and like thunder did he made him pay for it but he's had a good go and he did get a draw against revang of the dwarfs as well he's the only only team who's actually took points off uh revang so you know well done for that so you know that's something to take out of it and as as these wolves develop as well they'll get a lot better and it'll make it a lot easier as his team develops but he was always going to struggle with what he had um i think anyone any of the big coaches would have struggled with the team he brought in but um, I hope he sticks with it, and hopefully they'll uh, be with a bit more experience in that, and they'll be a lot better next season. Hopefully, well, so, he held Bill mm-hmm. Carrier and Fun Size Punchers to one touchdown. Yeah, he didn't yeah. let them get the second. So he, he, he's he's oh. it 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 is doing a lot right. It's just that when I've seen him, there's just a few things what uh, uh, mistakes what you'd expect a newer guy to make, and they're the things what are costing him, like the draws or the wins and. When he starts ironing that out, he, he'll see him get more wins, more draws. He, he's, he's getting there, and I wish him all the best. And hopefully, you know, next season he'll he'll he'll, he'll get more success. And you know what? He he still you never know. He might get a win in his last game. So best of luck to him there. So that's all the teams. So we, this week we've got Revang versus Cardiff Devils. We've got Bill Cowpower against Funside Punchers and Dash and Bash versus Vermin. Oh, you better say that Vermin's similitude or Vermin similitude. There we go. Um, all three of these games have got big it's just big for the playoffs you know all these six coaches can make the playoffs and that is awesome but which two Dio do you think will make the playoffs I still think it's between the three from earlier Hoka, Roiki and more shots hmm I I th- one I st- stands a good chance as well, but well, we can't. He can't. I don't think he can make oh. it now. He's only got one game left. He, maximum he can get is ten points. He's got one game left. He's... And I think with everyone playing each other, unless everyone goes on a draw fest, uh, he, he can't do it. Yeah, ten so points for wild card. Mm, I don't. I don't think. Without looking at it, I, I, my gut reaction says the way who plays who, he can't make it. So, um, I I would really fancy Revan if it wasn't for the fact that they've got two horrid matchups coming up. Um, but I'm going to say Revan will get through, and I, I can't go against Bill Cow Power Hour. But I'm not as confident as I was at the beginning of the season because I think um, the Rats, if they win this week, I'm almost certain they'll win the final week, and that'll put them on 12 points. And if that happens the rest of the teams man if Bill if more shot has to go into the last week needing a win against Hawker oh I'm not sure he'll get it I think that Hawker's the last coach you want to play against if you're going for a win last because he, he doesn't lose many he draws a lot but he doesn't lose many and obviously Hawker if he wins this week he'll be needing the win as well so I I this is my favorite division out the full lot but I'm going to stick with Roy and more shots to make it but it wouldn't surprise me if the wild card comes from this. And for the wild card, I'm going to give some love for the rats. I'm going to take Bot Bot to get a well deserved uh, wild card in this. Do you think the wild card can come from this one? I think wild card will come from my division and this division, maybe. Um, I'll see you after I look at the last division. Right, okay. Right, that <laughs> is us done. He's, he's the smart one. I'm just bloody picking anything. Um, so well done to everybody it's this has been my favorite division i'll be honest i can't wait to see what happens in the, in the last two weeks um good luck to all the coaches um and i hope you do well and hope you get whatever transfer you want and good luck to the coaches what make the playoffs and um yeah we're done so thanks again take care and we'll see you later bye see you guys later